An earthquake is where the surface of the Earth suddenly shakes as a result of a sudden release of energy in the Earth's lithosphere that creates seismic waves. Earthquakes are mostly caused by ruptures of geological fault, but can also be the result of volcanic activity, landslides, mine blasts, and nuclear tests. Some earthquakes are so minor you don't even notice them, but occasionally, earthquakes are so devastating that they can reduce huge cities to rubble in a matter of minutes, or even seconds. But what were to happen if an earthquake lasted 7 whole days? That's the question we're asking right now on Life's Biggest Questions. Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that asks the fundamental questions of life. I'm your host, Charlotte Dobre, and if you want to connect with the creative team behind Life's Biggest Questions, check out the description for the links to our social media accounts. And if you need a place to get your news on YouTube, check out our other channel, Inform Overload, also hosted by me. Earthquakes, mostly, only last about 10 to 30 seconds, but occasionally they exceed that. The longest earthquake ever recorded was the Great Sumatra Adaman earthquake. The magnitude was between 9 9.1 and 9.3, and it lasted between 8.3 to 10 minutes. It was an undersea earthquake, and its epicenter was off the west coast of Sumatra, Indonesia. The earthquake caused huge 30 foot tsunamis along the coast of Indonesia. This earthquake was so devastating, the entire earth felt it, and it even triggered other earthquakes across the planet in Alaska. It killed a quarter of a million people in 11 countries, and to this day, it's one of the most deadliest natural disasters ever recorded. A week long earthquake, even though its epicenter is in one place, could be felt across the world and could trigger earthquakes in other vulnerable areas. One of the most vulnerable areas on Earth includes Indonesia. Jakarta, Indonesia sits right on top of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Turkey is right in the middle of the seismic zone between Arabian, Eurasian and African plates. Mexico is another vulnerable area, sitting on top of three huge tectonic plates. It is one of the most active seismic regions on Earth. El Salvador, Pakistan, the Philippines, Ecuador, India, Nepal and Japan are also extremely vulnerable, which is extremely dangerous considering how densely populated some of those countries are. Thousands if not millions will die both during the earthquake and in the aftermath. Many of these countries are poor, and it's difficult to imagine how long it would take for them to recover, if at all, following a week long earthquake. These countries would seek relief from richer countries like the United States, but the United States would likely have a lot to worry about themselves. A week long earthquake could trigger the big one. If you've never heard of the big one, it's a huge earthquake that's supposed to hit California. California is riddled with fault lines. One of the most dangerous is the San Andreas Fault. It's 800 miles long and every 150 years it generates a huge earthquake. The last time the San Andreas Fault ruptured it was 1680, which means that the big one is actually overdue. No one knows when the big one is supposed to happen, but experts say that it could happen at any time, seeing how long it's been since the last earthquake. An earthquake on the San Andreas Fault poses a devastating threat to humanity, infrastructure and the economy. The first thing to be affected would be electricity. Power lines could be damaged and that would inevitably cause fires. Freeways will collapse. Entire buildings will crumble. Older structures like those made of bricks and cinder blocks are notoriously bad. Unfortunately, many of the historic structures that have been around for decades or even hundreds of years fit under that category and would likely be destroyed by any big earthquake, let alone a week long earthquake. Office buildings built in the 60s and 70s will fall down completely and instantly as if they were purposefully demolished. Even newer steel towers are vulnerable to big earthquakes and could topple over on top of one another like dominoes. Scientists predict that the big one will kill at least 2,000 people, but that number is reflective of an earthquake that lasts less than a couple minutes. The real death toll would be much higher after a 7 day earthquake. We're talking about hundreds of thousands if not millions of deaths and injuries. Earthquakes also cause oil and gas pipelines to rupture, and this is really dangerous. When pipelines break, gas leaks into the air. If there's any open flames around the leaks, explosions will occur. People will be without water for weeks as well because water and sewer pipes will likely break in the event of a huge earthquake. All water will have to be imported as teams try to repair the damage. But the thing about a week long earthquake is that it would be really hard to repair damage to pipelines and keep them from being damaged when the earthquake continues on for several more days. It's likely that engineers will try to repair pipes, but will inevitably have to wait until the earthquake stops to do full repairs. Readjustments in the earth can cause more earthquakes known as aftershocks in the weeks and months that follow. All of this will have a devastating long term effect on the economy. Ports will be shut down for weeks and major retailers won't be able to stock their stores with products. Places of work that haven't been completely destroyed will stay closed in the aftermath of the earthquake for weeks if not months. People can't go to work if their places of work don't have water or electricity and are likely still unsafe from the earthquake. If an earthquake hit California alone, it would cost the US government $200 billion. In the event of a week long earthquake, the worldwide damage could reach the trillions. A huge earthquake will also likely trigger tsunamis and flooding, especially in cities along 
along the coast. Millions would end up homeless while they search for their loved ones in the rubble. Rescue workers would be completely overwhelmed by their relief efforts. Hospitals will be bursting at the seams. Much of the world will look like a complete war zone. Survivors and volunteers would all have to work together to repair the damage from the earthquake. The safest place to be in an earthquake is an open field where structures and street lamps can't fall on you. Open fields in affected areas across the world will become populated with tents and makeshift houses. World governments would probably swoop in to create temporary structures for survivors, but considering how many people would be affected, these structures would be densely populated. Essentially, large fields would become shanty towns, filled with homeless people, the sick, the wounded, and the mourning. Luckily, earthquakes never last longer than a few minutes. Most of them don't exceed 30 seconds. It's unlikely that a week-long earthquake would ever occur, and that's great news considering it's impossible for us to predict the exact time, location, and size of earthquakes before they happen. For now, I'm Charlotte Dobre, and you've been watching Life's Biggest Questions. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you would like to stay on this channel, check out the playlist that's clickable on the screen right now. That is all for this episode of LBQ, and thank you for watching this channel. Thank you.